Why silver is the investment of our lifetime right now in this moment is as we're getting this destruction of currencies, it's protecting us through its monetary hedge. But on the other side, there's growing industrial demand. You know, there is a way to protect yourself. Uh, you know, silver at under $30 an ounce here is a tremendous way to protect yourself. If the only thing you do from watching this video is go out and get yourself one ounce of silver, I think we've done a great service here. And so inflation, um, you know, I see it, we all see it, we all experience it, even though the Fed, Fed wants to tell us it's transitory or it's limited to single digits, it's not. Um, and, 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 and you know what, for me, what brought me to this industry was I wanted to maintain a middle-class lifestyle for myself and my family. And I thought the way I could do that was through protecting myself through the metals. Um, and, but it's, you know, I, I think it's a really sad state of affairs. It is a war. It's a war on the consumer. It's a war on, on the middle class. It's a war on the poor. And um, yeah, these are, and I, and I really think we're, we're providing a great service in that we're educating people that, you know, there is a way to protect yourself. Uh, you know, silver at, you know, under $30 an ounce here is a tremendous way to protect yourself. And if, 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 the, if the only thing you do from watching this video is go out and get yourself one ounce of silver, I think we've done a great service here. There are tools to fight deflation, right? The, my biggest concern is when the inflation really kicks in, what tools does the Fed have to curb inflation when we've got record debt levels? So that's the first thing. Um, this, the second part of that is, um, you know, I look at, you know, where investors need to start getting into a mindset is we need to get away from this instant gratification, this, this second by second, minute by minute momentum trading. We need to get into getting into companies that have solid balance sheets, that have good management teams, and not be concerned about how companies or assets are trading on a weekly or quarterly basis, but really look at it from a long, take a step out and you don't have to go that far out. And I think Silver's performed really well uh, you know, and I think that the mining equities are are showing us. I'll, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> so silver was up forty four percent in twenty twenty. You know, a good highly leveraged silver equity would would outperform that by three hundred percent. So you know, I think for myself, uh, you know, silver is protecting investors. Why to answer your question? Why why silver is the investment of our lifetime right now in this moment is as we're getting this destruction of currencies. It's protecting us uh, through its its monetary hedge, but on the other side, there's growing industrial demand. So silver is truly, you know, you know the most the, the specialist metal on the board, and and one one of the specialist investment classes that there is out there. So I think it's there's tremendous value here on a multiple multiple of metrics. Uh, just taking the silver to gold ratio as one aspect. Uh, silver is extremely. Uh, inexpensive relative to gold at this. So I think there's tremendous upside. I think there's big upside for gold. Silver's going to outperform. What catches your eye on the thesis the most and and what brought you to it? Um, well, what brought me to it was experience. So I went and I worked for a gold miner in the 2000s. And I watched that gold miner go from $0.07 cents a share to $5. I watched that oh, jeez. <laughs> and I watched that gold miner go from a from inception to a billion four market cap. And you know we had to work really hard over six and a half years to build up a six hundred person team to raise half a billion dollars to get a mine into operation. And all that hard work, that blood, sweat, and tears. Um, as a personal investor, I made as much on a silver investment inside of six months as a passive investment that I did helping to build a mining company. So I told myself that the next time I thought. I would like I left the gold market and I focused on base metals from 2011 to 2014. I came back to gold in 2014. By 2018, Jake, I said, you know what? It's time to go all in on silver. And I was deliberately picking Dolly Varden because of its grade, because of its location. But I wanted as much exposure to high quality silver ounces because I saw what it did last cycle. And if you go back, you study history. Uh, you know what happened in 2011 was not unique. You know, it played out in 1980. It's played out throughout history. And so silver has got uh, tremendous leverage. And um, it's really rare. Like, you know, most of the silver produced in the world, 70% of it 
is produced as a byproduct. So having a vehicle that's really giving you real exposure to precious metals, particularly silver, is quite unique. It only represents about 30% of the silver market. And most of that silver is in places that I don't want to invest in countries like Argentina. Um, so to find a project in Canada is quite unique. Silver is right, you know, right now you're, you're in a situation where there's not a great deal of incentive for a company to go out and look for new else. You know, at these prices, there's, there's not a lot of operations on the planet that are pure silver mines that are spitting out a lot of cash. So the price of silver, like, in, and this is what I saw in the gold price back you, before the gold breakout in May of 2019, when the average producer's cost around $1,000, when the price of gold was around 1250 the margins were not, the incentive wasn't there to grow or to explore. And I'm seeing the same thing in silver right now. And so, you know, you're going to need a silver price that's 30 $35 an ounce at a very, at a minimum to encourage that type of uh growth, exploration, and development in the silver space. And you look at the leverage and, and what companies are worth and how 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 they how, how mining companies work in terms of their price sensitivities to metal prices, that's where the big returns come for investors. And that's why, you know, on a day like today where the price of silver might be up, you know, a percent and a half, um, a company like Dolly Burns up 10%. And that's the leverage. And that's because of those sensitivities to the price of silver. But Jake, it's everything. It's you know, if we want to keep um, producing the amount of silver to satisfy the demand from investors who are looking to buy monster boxes, guys like you, you know yourself and uh, and me, uh, to the end users who are using silver in, in industry and the ever growing uses for silver in industry, it's really a, a two headed monster. But everything's going on, you know, and in a world where uh, non-fungible tokens and Bitcoin and and all these assets are trading at absurd valuations. It's 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 laughable that silver is at half the price it was 40 years ago. It makes no sense. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information, and it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn $500,000, $1 million, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where do you start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them. And if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange. And one of the biggest are, for example, Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well-established exchanges. But, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, 
here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon, click on the link now. I'll see you there.